I swear to graduate from early college high school. I promise, I promise to pursue a rigorous course of study to obtain a bachelor's degree. Every young person in America needs a post-secondary credential to thrive in today's world. Early College High School is one innovation that provides more young people with a path to and through college. And we are working across the entire state of Texas, focusing on major urban areas and the Texas-Mexico border to make sure that first-generation kids, African-American, Hispanic, and kids that don't have a shot right now of realizing their dreams of college and a great career get that chance while they're in high school. Students who attend early college high schools find rigorous, supportive schools that blend high school and the first two years of college. They have the chance to earn a high school diploma along with up to 60 college credit hours at no cost. For many students, the motivation for going to college comes from parents who never had the opportunity themselves. They're always pushing us to do good in school because they don't want the same thing to happen to us. They want us to get a good education so we can work to give us a better life. So the motivation is there, but how does it work? Early college high schools adhere to five interrelated core principles, using a range of unique strategies and meeting the specific needs of students, communities, and institutional partners. That's why it's good to practice your English. Practice your English. The first is a commitment to serving underrepresented students in higher education. It's important to me because I'll be the first in my family to graduate and it's very important for me to do that. In my family, nobody has ever went to college and some people will barely graduate from high school and I want to be more than that. I want to give them something to talk about. Second, the schools are created and sustained by a local education agency, institution of higher learning, and the community. It's using these experiences also to change state policy and uh, where we need to, uh, national policy. It's also working with, with finding other partners who are interested, uh, like the Greater Texas Foundation, you know, who have just bought into this concept, um, you know, lock, stock, and barrel. And, you know, you talk about that, and then another local foundation stepped up and uh, they said, um, you know, how can we help? And so it's, it's leveraging uh, individuals with, with passion and with vision and with interest um, and making the opportunities available. Third, schools create an integrated academic plan so that students earn one to two years of transferable college credit. Hopefully graduating as a senior uh, for our class in 2010 have as many as 60 college hours which is it's just a tremendous opportunity for all of us to take advantage of. I mean, some of these students, I mean, you talk to them and they're already thinking about, well, I'm going to go for my master's in this. Is They're not just saying, I'm going to com complete my bachelor's degree. They're already thinking beyond that. I see them and uh, you know, I teach them <laughs> every day and it, it's hard, but, um, but what is coming, the rewards are all, I mean, it, it's all worth it. Fourth, early college high schools engage students in a comprehensive support system that develops academic and social skills necessary for college completion. Everybody here respects your opinions, respects your, your thoughts, so um, there's no holding back here at early college. One of the reasons I'm here is because of that whole early college you know, transition, so we have to prepare them, whether it's academically, socially, emotionally, um, we have to prepare them for once they leave these doors. And fifth, schools and their partners work with intermediaries to create policies that advance the early college movement. It's so important. Parents, partners, and education that you work with community leaders to make certain that we mentor these young persons. We work with the families to make certain that they have the experiences that will be necessary in order for them to assume the leadership role in the future. There are more than 160 early college high schools nationwide, 30 of those in Texas. The classes are smaller than traditional high schools, usually numbering around 100 per grade. Over 80 percent of early college graduates earn college credit and more than 75 percent have gone directly to college. Ed Cancino, Hidalgo superintendent, says you need to take it a step further to accurately measure success. But I look at what happens once they leave us. 
Are they being successful in the university? Are they graduating from the university? Do they have jobs that provide them a good way of life? The Early College High School Initiative is a powerful engine in the post-secondary education of a new generation of young students. With Early College High School, students know that they are going to college and learn how to get there. There's very little job that will hire you without a high school diploma in these days, so when we grow up it's probably going to be harder and the minimum education is probably going to be a master's degree. Because education is the key to everything and when I graduate, to graduate with my high school diploma and a college degree, that's exciting to me.